Dave Smith here. Okay, so uh, it's a little different today. Uh, I'm starting a whole new series, and this will be an ongoing series. And there are lots of reasons for getting into this stuff, but it's some more of that later. Uh, this is a series on photo books and zines. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that uh, I'm getting much more involved and interested in uh, zines in particular. Because I think they're a good way to present, um, to present your photography in a democratic kind of way. Uh, I think the idea of holding your own exhibition is pretty much pie in the sky for most of us. Uh, but truly any of us can make a zine and I've recently made my first zine and when that comes back from the printers I'll do a video and show that off to you but it's the f going to be the first of many um, if you've checked out my website you'll see that I've revamped my website significantly in order to present uh, what I've called photo essays now really on the, I think the Cimetière d'Ixel is a properly realized essay as such. Uh, but uh, the, the, there are plenty of photo stories on there and I will be, um, I will be uh, trying to realize the essay format um, much more in future projects. But I think they're a great way to present, uh, and as I say, I think it democratizes the presentation of photography because zines are, are not expensive to produce. Uh, I think the ones that uh, I've produced uh, were very reasonable and uh, I'm offering those for sale at only eight pounds. So th and these were only eight pounds. I mean they, they vary of course. I see plenty that are 20 pounds and if I did mine in A4 they might be more like uh, 15 pounds. They're actually in A5 this, at the moment. Uh, which I think is a good format. Um, I'm gonna f I'm gonna investigate formats over the next few uh, things uh, issues. <coughs> Excuse me. So this new photo series is on photo books and zines. Now I have some videos on the channel already, um, uh, looking at a number of photo books. Uh, I don't have those anymore. I uh, I kind of lost those in. Uh, in the transition to traveling that, that, that then COVID has put the kibosh on. So I'm a bit disappointed to have lost track of some of those books and I'll try and get them again, uh, especially the Elliot Erwitt book, but also Maplethorpe's uh, Flowers, which was stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna make this all into a playlist. I'll bring those photo book uh, sort of reviews into the playlist uh, and I'm going to start looking at many more zines. I've got a couple here because I've made my own zines, I thought it would be a good, uh, a good point to start looking at other people's. So I've got a couple here that I've uh, recently bought and what I'm going to do is just tell you a little about each one, where I've got them from, then I'm going to bring the camera in and show you some close-ups of the images in these. Uh, if, you, if you want to buy these zines for yourself, then uh, I've got them from a uh, a publisher is called Static Age and they are in the UK and I will put a link to their website in the description so if you like what you see here go ahead and get in touch with them and, uh, uh, and buy, buy your own copies um, uh, let them know I sent you can't hurt can it <laughs> anyway um, so uh, so let's have, a, let's have a little look at these. So I've got uh, two. I've got this one here, which is a perfect bound um, zine by uh, Jason Hunter, printed by Static Age, and it is, I don't know, maybe about uh, 40 or so pages. Um, and it is l uh, literally just a bunch of uh, his photographs. And what he's called this is Battlefield Boulevard. Uh, and it, it kind of seems to be um, sort of images that are, uh, I don't know how I, don't know how I would describe them, sort of battlefield boulevard is sort of, uh, sort of streets and um, buildings that are on those streets, houses and uh, commercial buildings that uh, represent um, 
that represent the sort of township as it were and I believe these were shot in his hometown uh, not too sure where that is um, but we'll we'll look at some of those images in more close-up it's about oh, let's have a look I happen to have my ruler right here so it is uh, seven inches by seven inches seven inch square now uh, I guess seven inches is about a uh, 180 mils thereabouts uh, and because this is uh, professionally published it's been designed um, I designed my own zine uh, and when that comes you can see what you think of the design uh, and let me know so that's the first one uh, Battlefield Boulevard perfect bound this is the second one and of the two this is much my favorite this is 21 by Jason Connolly and it's a very uh, simple cover, which I, I really like that. It's, um, it's stitched, so it's staple bound uh, down the spine. It has uh, 37, 38 pages plus the cover, so 42 pages in total. It's called 21 because uh, there are 21 images. <laughs> <laughs> There's an appealing logic about that, don't you think? Um, oh, tell a lie. It is uh, 30, it's 40 pages, not uh, 42. The page numbering incl includes the cover, but they haven't put the numbers on the cover, of course. That would be naff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, 21 images, and as far as I understand it, these are... Uh, images shot in film, uh, medium format film, and they are printed on silver gelatin paper and then it is scans of those prints uh, that are presented and by the looks of them, uh, and this is square as well and I'm guessing this is 8 inches square, uh, 8.5 by 8.5 and, and the images are all square, so that suggests to me that he shot this on a 6x6 six six medium format camera. Uh, square is not my favourite um, aspect ratio by any means, um, but that doesn't detract from this from this booklet at all. So 21 images, these are all shot in Scotland, and I believe they're shot around the coast of uh, Scotland, I don't know uh, exactly where. The images are stunning really beautiful all black and white right up my street uh, very beautiful 21 images and it's uh, it's something to do with I, th I think the um, the impetus for these images came about because his father died from cancer and I think they represent the kind of uh, solitude that he felt as a consequence of that loss and uh, and that's you, you definitely get a strong feeling of solitude uh, from these images anyway so that's my sort of little uh, attempt at sort of analyzing those two books I don't really want to do uh, too much of that what I really want to do in this series is to present these uh, photo books and zines to you for for your consideration so you can see what's going on out there and uh, and either collect them yourself or make your own zines. If you do make your own zine, I would love to uh, hear about it. But let's take a little look at some of the images in these books. Okay, so here we are. Here are the two zines. I'm going to uh, put that one to one side and we'll have a look first off at Battlefield Boulevard. You see it's a fairly simple cover. It's uh, reproduced one of the images from the inside and, uh, and quite nicely produced. It's, uh, it's not too big, so it's uh, something that you can easily handle. Uh, I'm, I don't really want to break the spine on, on this, so I'm not going to open the booklet right up. But we'll just have a little delve in and see one or two of the images. Now, these images look to me to be what I think of as typical American uh, houses. Uh, you might have a different view. Uh, and you can see how this has been um, designed. This image in particular uh, 
kind of irks me a little bit because this little intrusion of this bow along the top here to me is a distraction that probably oughtn't to be there um, but what do I know uh, I wonder about all this white space here in these two images and but you know the, the designers have designed it and that's the look they wanted here are some more images of these uh, houses and as I say this these images were I believe uh, shot in uh, I think this is Hunter isn't it Jason Hunter I think these were shot in his uh, hometown and just give us a sense of the township and what it is to live there uh, I'm not going to show every image uh, this is very uh, a very graphic image uh, of that probably office building of some sort or a warehouse um, and that seems to be fairly typical of the images in here they seem to be fairly graphic um, I've seen a, an interview where Hunter describes this as his favorite image that he's ever taken and it is a very uh, clean crisp uh, image and there's a close-up of the cross and if we just flick through because various things so lots and lots of images of buildings and you've got this sort of two up here again with lots of white space but this time they're they're moved to the to the bottom of the page um, but something that that did occur to me as we were just kind of wandering through there is uh, I quite, quite like that image and I'm not sure why <laughs> but there you go uh, but as we look through this um, the images that stand out as being uh, different are this set of three here and to me these images don't fit with the rest of the images in this book um, but I don't have the uh, the author's sensibilities I don't know uh, why he's put them there um, but I do like this book uh, all in all um, so that's Battlefield Boulevard by Jason Hunter now this one of the two this is by far my favorite it's uh, a beautifully produced book I really like the simplicity of the cover uh, the cover I've chosen for my zine is much busier than this and I may well change that um, next time round we'll, we'll see how it looks when it gets here um, and I, I, when, when I show it uh, I will do a video of it I'd be interested to hear what you think now this book as I said before 21 images uh, the, the very graphic these images are scanned from um, Connolly's original gelatin prints from his darkroom well, I presume it's his darkroom <laughs> from a darkroom uh, and so this looks like a, a typical crofter's cot cottage in the highlands now there it is from a different uh, angle and as we just flick through um, stun stunning stunning book uh, and again sometimes you, you get these blank pages uh, on one side or the other um, which I quite I quite like it causes the images to stand for themselves uh, in my design I haven't included blank pages but again it's an idea that I might incorporate in future books um, I'm a big fan of black and white film uh, what I what I really enjoy is the simplicity uh, I love this image there's another one a little further back that I really like as well this one this looks like some kind of harbour wall sea defences kind of thing I like this long exposure type of idea uh, the sort of graphic simplicity of the image uh, this one as well I, I, I just in truth I uh, like every single image in this book it's just stunning by far my favorite of the two so j21 by jason connolly so there we go okay so there's the first two zines uh, that we're having a look at in this series as i say i will put the um 
the website where you can get those if you're interested in them for yourselves. Uh, I will be making more of these. I have some more zines uh, on order from uh, Mark Valet, uh, and I will be I will be buying more of these because I really do like them, and I especially like the Connolly book. Um, I'm making zines of my own, so I will share those with you, and I will also share photo books in this series. Not too sure just yet how frequent this series will be. Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe once a month, something like that, but we'll see how things work out and what else comes <laughs> comes along uh, to get in the way. Uh, but that's sort of my thinking at the moment. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at uh, a couple of zines. Uh, let me know what you think. If you're making your own zine, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.